for this video is to orient you to, to the controllers that are on many of the fraction tools that we have in the product. This will work for identify fractions, addition, and subtraction with common denominators, and everyone that follows on this list, equivalence, common denominators, addition, and subtraction with uncommon denominators. So if I go to addition with common denominators and I choose to use the tool, this is about the tool. First, I want to give you a sense of what the tool is for. Using this tool, we can add 1 eighth plus 3 eighths, and we can very easily see that it aggregates to 4 eighths. I'm going to reset this now and show you what the controllers do. There's two eyeballs on the right side. If you click on one of these, it hides or displays the portion of the screen to which it refers. So you can actually operate this without showing the numbers at all. Or you could operate this without showing the manipulative at all. So you could add 3 sixths plus 1 sixth and get 4 sixths. And there is a check work button at the bottom which will let you know if you've gotten this right or wrong. I'm going to reset. If you're working in a domain where you're simply using the manipulatives, you'll want to know how to control these manipulatives. The slider will give you equal parts. Here's fifths. And you can click inside those parts in order to populate and shade the parts. Or you can use these little buttons on the side. And so here we're adding two fifths, one fifth plus two fifths. And we can indicate that that's 3 fifths. So that's another set of controls that you now know how to use. I'm going to reset the problem at the bottom of the screen. We can also link the bottom and the top displays. When we link, we're creating an environment where whatever we do on one will affect the other. So if we have tens here, populate one of those, automatically the manipulative will control the numbers. So we can either work primarily in the number domain or in the manipulative domain. Either way, the linkage will work. And the last controls that are on this screen are controls for changing the manipulative model that we're employing. We have a variety of models. There's the area of a rectangle model, which looks purely as an area until you cursor over it, and then it does give you partitions, which has a little bit more of a discrete look to it. And here are, here's a truly a discrete model, and then a number line model. We actually plan to evolve this number line model moving forward, but we'll be interested in your comments during the private beta and the use of the number line model. So that's a look at the tools, the uh, controllers that are used in the various tools.